Hey, what is going on guys? My name's Long Sensation and first of all, just like to say that I have just finished off um, filming some other parts of my Road to Commander, some more episodes for that. And um, my girlfriend did ring in the process of doing one of the um, episodes and I actually ignored it. So um, if you want to give this video a like for doing that, then you know, that'll be appreciated. Also guys, each time my Road to Commander episodes get 15 likes, I'll then upload the next one. That's just a way of telling me that you guys are still enjoying the episode, stuff like that. So if it doesn't get 15 likes, then I will not upload the next episode. But anyway, guys, um, moving on. As you can see, as you can tell by from the title, um, this video is 132 to 1 kill. Um, 1 death, sorry. 1 kill, that would be stupid. Um, 1 death game, um, 132 KD game, which you know is my highest KD game in Black Ops 2. And I've been getting quite a lot of videos, um, not a lot of videos, a lot of comments on my videos saying, you know, how do you get such high KD games? How do you get quite a lot of kills? And Black Ops 2 is a game in which, you know, the bad players will do bad and the good players will do good. And this is something we've never seen before, you know, with the death streaks implemented in previous Call of Duty, like Modern Warfare 3. It seemed like the badder players would get higher KD um, than the better players for some reason, which, you know, was kind of stupid, but... Um, yeah, I'm just going to be talking about how to do good in this game, how to get high KD games, high kill games, stuff like that. And um, this is a perfect gameplay to demonstrate it. I use quite a lot of smart moves. Um, I pull off quite a, um, a few good tricks. And um, yeah, so yeah, I'm just going to be using this gameplay. And first of all, as you can see, I am using the PDW with silencer and fast mags. And you may be wondering, you know, the MSMC or the MP7 is better for you then, you know, that is completely up to you what gun you use. You can use the sniper rifle if you wanted, um, if you do, you know, consistently well with it. So there's no point in me recommending the PDW to you guys when you don't do good with that weapon. So what I suggest for you guys to do is, first of all, find the gun that you do better with, and that means, you know, just play two to three hours with each weapon and try and see which you get better games with and stuff like that. And then that way you know which is your um, gun for you, which gun you're going to use and consistently do well with. And, um, you know, what you need to do, really, ideally, you know, you've seen these 200 kill gameplays coming out on YouTube, and, um, you know, you see them rushing spawns, stuff like that. This is something that you do not want to do if you want to do consistently well. Um, these rushes on, like, you know, certain, certain channels, I'm not going to mention names. Um, I'm going to be honest, most of them are set up. Um, what happens is... Um, you know, they will ask some of their friends to create other accounts, stuff like that, and then that way they can just get high KD games, high kill games, stuff like that, and then um, basically advertise them as um, really high for world's firsts and stuff like that. And um, so, yeah, what you need to do is, you know, stay back. You know that the enemies are going to end up coming towards you. That's what you kind of see me doing this gameplay. I am at B Dom quite the majority of the time. That's simply because I know where they're coming from if they're at C, and I know where they're coming from if they're at A Dom. And um, what you need to do is just hold down an area. The area that um, you can see that I'm always in in this gameplay is the area where you want to be on this map. Um, a lot of head glitching spots, you're going to be able to um, kill them before they can kill you. And um, another key point is your kill streaks. Now, your kill streaks. Um, Really should be the Lord Star, the Dogs and the Swarm, but you can use the VSAT Dogs and Swarm. I've been using the Lord Star Dogs and Swarm recently just because the Lord Star seems to get um, a hell of a lot more kills than obviously the VSAT because the VSAT just tells you where the enemy is. Although it's a good perk, um, the Lord Star is something like 200, 300 points more. And um, yeah, you're not really going to um, miss out on a big opportunity to get the Lord Star compared to that of the Visa, if that kind of makes sense, you know, if you're going to get, say for instance, um, your one kill off your Visa and your three kills off your Lord Star, and you jump on the B flag, get a kill, which is a capture kill, and then cap the B flag, that's 300 points, you've got your Lord Star, that will then lead you up to your dogs and your swarm, um, in which, you know, you can wreak havoc, and the key to getting these high KD games is letting your kill streaks do the work, um, I believe I get a nuclear in this gameplay, I might be wrong, I think that was a previous game or the game after I did get um, 111 to 2 with the MP7 and I got a PDW nuclear on this map as well. I can't remember but anyway, um, you know, what you need to do is let your kill streaks do the work 
Um, play it smart, you know. Um, you can see towards the end of this gameplay, that is the more crucial part of this gameplay. I'm in my Lord Star, get my dogs and my swarm. There's like 10 points left to the end of the game. And I actually eject myself from the Lord Star to call in my dogs and the swarm because I think that it's going to get me more kills. And it gets me like 3 or 4 kills which I may not have got with my Lord Star, so it could have been 128 to 1. Doesn't really make a difference, but for me, um, you know, it was a risk or something that I wanted to do and try and, um, you know, get a better KD game. So, yeah, as you can see in this gameplay, I'm kind of, you know, stuck between calling in my dogs and my Lord Star at the same time. I think I call in my dogs and the Lord, uh, the dogs and the swarm by accident. But instead what you want to do is call in the Lord Star and the dogs at the same time. The reason for that is because your Lord Star does work, but unfortunately it doesn't get as many kills um, as it should do if they are in the building. Because, you know, you cannot get um, your Lord Star in the building as well as the Swarm. The Swarm can fly through windows, fly through doorways, stuff like that. Get a lot of kills in a short space of time, so definitely do that, guys. And um, that's pretty much it regarding, um, you know, how to actually get do good or get good high KD games. Play it smart, stay back, let your kill streaks do the work, and um, use shock charges, C4 stuff like that. If there's three, four people on a on a flag, you know, you've got a better chance of killing them all if you use your C4 than um, shooting them all individually. But yeah, that's just me. That's just my opinion. I hope you've enjoyed this um, little commentary on trying to help you guys get better of the game. If you've got any more questions, then please put them in the comment section below. I've got a PDW nuclear as well as an MP7 nuclear with um, 111 to 2. I get my last two deaths at the end, which you know is quite unfortunate. But you know, um, what can you do about that? Pretty much nothing. So anyway, guys, I've been Long Sensation. I hope you've enjoyed this commentary. Like I said, if you've got any more questions on how to do good at this game, um, then please put them in the comment section below. I'll leave a reply to them or make another video regarding your question. Um, so yeah, guys, let's try and get this video off to 20 likes. That'll be pretty cool if we can try and get 20 likes on this um, video off of, you know, getting a real high KD game, a highest KD game in Black Ops 2. And um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So um, I'll see you all guys later. Um, tomorrow will be the 111 to 2 meltdown. I'm going to do meltdown tips on that video um, just so you guys can get some high KD games and high kill games on that. And if you want me to get any nuclear stuff like that, then you know, put them in the comment section below. I want to try and mix up my channel, try and get some shotgun nuclear, shotgun 100 plus stuff like that. So please put them in the comment section below. And um, yeah, I'll see you all guys later. Hope you've enjoyed this commentary once again. Please. <sighs> Oh, uh, orgasm.